bell. Man. When you ring the bell, that means it's money on the floor. Oh. I mean, it's money in the building. That means it's some money to be got. Oh, I didn't know. Ring the bell. This is like the stock market. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> put, put some extra blessings on it. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to the black market. Thank and you. pick you a camera and tell everybody who you are today and what you got going on. My name is Jillian Anderson, and I'm the founder of Her Ride. Her Ride is the woman's Uber and Lyft. Uh, we have all women drivers on our platform, about 250 drivers, and we are up and running in Atlanta, Georgia. I believe everything you say just based off how you talk. <laughs> the <laughs> voice you. definitely does not match. You're like, hi, my name is Jillian. I am... Yeah, that was real professional. You've <laughs> Thank been you. working on it. Huh? Oh, yeah. So look, what we got going on today? What is, what, what's, what's this ride share situation? Um, so I have a ride share company. Um, I used to, I, when I moved to Atlanta in 2017, I started driving for Uber and Lyft. Um, I was trying to go pro for basketball, so okay. it worked out best with my schedule. And I would mainly drive at night. And so what, what happened was I was picking up a lot of women at night. Strippers and, I, and uh -huh. ladies of the night. Yes, yes indeed. And a bunch of fine ass ladies with no cars. And the good Amazon workers. The too. good Amazon workers. <laughs> yep, but yeah. Some I, people smart enough to just ride share to work and not even have to deal with all that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, when I used to pick them up, um, I used to keep I used to keep hearing over and over again. Um, either they were canceling trips until they recognized the woman's name. My right. name is Jillian. So I do that. <laughs> um, I do that. Sometimes I look at the picture. But no, I'm not riding with him. Um, they would, or they would like share an uncomfortable experience that they had in a in another Uber or Lyft. And so this kept happening over and over again. I was like, why haven't they solved this problem? Like, why haven't they just added a feature where women can pick women drivers? And when I realized they had no intention of doing it. I just decided to do it myself. That's so, what's up. Yeah. What were some of your best nights as a ride share driver? Some of your favorite stories? Man. Customers. <laughs> New Year's Eve was always interesting. Always. Um, try to drive as much as you can until somebody throws up in your car. Because yeah, that's, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Um, football games are always fun. Yeah. And I had a crazy, I had my only bad experience, because I didn't even have any bad experiences. My only bad experiences was I picked up a guy, he was drunk, um, and he, I, he wanted me to stop at the McDonald's on Ponce. Everybody knows at night that McDonald's on Ponce is crazy. Like, no one's waiting in that line. It no wasn't way. even part of his trip. And so I ignored it and I just took him home and he refused to get out of my car. And I was like, oh, you don't want to get out of my car? So I have like Bluetooth in my car. I just called the little emergency line or whatever. When he heard it over Bluetooth, he was trying to, now you wanted to get out of the car. I was like, no, stay in the car. Stay in the car. Wait till they come. But that, outside of that, I ain't never had any issues. I mean, I had a couple guys try to hit on me, and I'll be like, you good? Like, you straight? <laughs> that was outside, your response? You good, mama? Yeah, I had to make sure. Like, you all right? But now, nah, outside of that, I, I ain't have any issues. Oh. I just noticed that the pay kept going down, and I was like, oh, yeah, they tripping. I got to find something <clears throat> else to do. Now they got this thing where they got to pay them a certain amount, right? Like an hourly wage rate or something? Uh, in certain states. Uh, I think uh -huh. the only state that got that um, was uh, Minneapolis. I think they got that together. So, Minnesota. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Minnesota, yeah. So they, um, they um, Uber and Lyft is actually leaving, I think, at the end of the year out of those states mm -hmm. because of that. So that was the inspiration to start your own ride share? Today. Yeah, outside of looking how much money they make. What's the, <laughs> like, what's the process to starting your own ride share? Um, well, my background's in computer science, so that's what I went to school for. Nerd ass. No, yeah, you know. Hey, I am. <laughs> that's hey. why your voice all <laughs> clear hey, and technical. I am, but I, um, I went to school for computer science, but I didn't build an app. I'm not that, I'm not, I'm not that smart. Um, so what I did was I found a company to build it for me. I own the source code, I own everything. Um, it took them about six months to do it. Okay. Once they finished it, I uploaded it live on the App Store. The only thing about that was we went live in March 2020. So that's when the Damn. city shut down. Damn. Yeah, so we couldn't do nothing. Um, but what I did was focus on like social media engagement and stuff like that, community building. We went viral on Twitter in June of 2020 and 7,000 people signed up in one day. Now, clear this up for me. Mm -hmm. Is this like, when you say her ride, is this like women drivers or are they only picking up women? We pick up everybody. We okay. pick up everybody, um, but the way we market is the same way pad companies and tampon market, uh, tampon companies market. Like they don't market to you guys, even though y'all know tampons and pads exist. That's because they need to find us something <laughs> that we can use them for. <laughs> <laughs> but that that is you how go we to market. The gym, it's gonna be somebody with a pad stuck to their head. Like Keep the sweat out my ass and shoot these three. Do pads, do pads. Since they got do wipes, they need to make some do pads. No, but they nah. don't. <laughs> no, the hell but they nah. don't. If I see a dude with a pad, uh, never mind. <laughs> but man, yeah. what happened to your hand? Man, I cut my <laughs> shit. They always with the wings, though. Keep it so I ain't had to get no stitches. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, somebody gonna create that just because they heard Come that. Come on, that's man, crazy. they gonna be emergency. They gonna... But yeah, that's how we market. So we just real discreet with our marketing. We just really focus on women. And then if a, a woman tells her husband or whatever like that, yeah, we we pick them up. Like it's not it's not an issue. Our drivers have full discretion over that. So if they don't feel comfortable, then they're not gonna pick you up. Right. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Thank you. So how's business been? Like getting the word out and all of that. Business has been all right. Um. Business has actually been great, I'm not going to lie. So Come we're on. the third ride You was about company. to lie. Yeah, I was. Like, nah, I'm going to go ahead and tell me. <laughs> I was. Now, we are the third ride share company to be um, put in Atlanta airport. So I know you fly. You fly through up there all the time. Right? I didn't know y'all was at nah, no. Uh, our name is up on the board, on the ride share signs. Um, if you if you go look at the ride share signage, yeah. we finally got our name up there. They did that in uh, February. I was giving them hell about that. Yeah, I, when I do need a ride, I got this old dude that picked me up. Oh yeah, I understand. Yeah, OG. He, you know how you you hire a driver? Like, look, if you ever need somebody, <laughs> call me. So I got the old dude. Oh yeah, I know, be, I know he's reliable too. Ain't he'll, he'll, he'll grab the bags and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now our luxury drivers do the same thing. If you ever want to try something new. You we think I'm going to let him see me getting in the car with one of y'all? How he going to see you? Because he be at, that's all he do. He wear the little suit <laughs> and go to the airport. As soon as I come up them steps and I see him, he be working with somebody. Oh. Like, you got right. You good, because I can get you in. <laughs> I don't know how the hell he be doing that. You got to try us one time. Most definitely. All right. I will. I'm my next joint. All right, that's a bit. That's a bit. I'm going to be looking out, because I look at the dashboard every day. You don't be picking people up. Nah, not anymore. I actually stopped driving in January. Now, that would be the honor if you actually picked me up. Like the owner. Can't nobody say that he had <laughs> the owner of Uber pick him up before. At first, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a few customers that can definitely say that about They ain't going to never be on the black market, though. Yeah, hey, you're right. But we can work something out. I can definitely do that. All right. I, can I don't do know. I have to see what y'all talking about. Y'all got little waters in the back. Yeah, all that. Charges. Especially my, especially my Lux drivers. They definitely have all that. Oh, okay. Yeah, they have all that. What if I called you and then you had the driver pick me up in my old school? In your I old might school? need to collab with you. That's whole nother business right there. Nah, that's... Picking people up in the old school? Nah, that is definitely a niche market, but that'll work in Atlanta. I'm telling you. That'll definitely work in Atlanta. Oh, it would definitely work in Atlanta. We need to rap. We gonna already talk about know this. the people who make the app. Exactly. <laughs> where can they where can they sign up or get in? Um, on the App Store, Google Play Store, anywhere you download apps, that's where we're at. Um, you can make an account. We're live I right now. I think you said the name. Her ride. Yeah, Let I did. Them know. Oh yeah, her ride. Y'all gotta this make sure y'all download it. You supposed to promote it. You gotta know all the good stuff. <laughs> Ladies, if you wanna choose to be unbothered, choose her ride. All right, we have 250 drivers in Atlanta. We haven't had any incidents. Over 5,000 bookings completed. Choose her ride. I promise you, you will not regret it. That's a hell of a promo. No incidents? No incidents. We oh, I'm about to incident. come calling. I'm starting That's the incident. That's what? I'm calling. I'm starting the incident. <laughs> I'm starting the incident. First complaint coming from me. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you no. know how you leave the reviews and just be anonymous? It's going to be like... Now our reviews, I ain't going to lie, the reviews are crazy. <laughs> 40 years old, black male. <laughs> Why she driving so damn fast? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I man, you need to go look through our reviews. When our app wasn't working, people were throttling us in the reviews. I was like, well, the app's not working. There's nothing I can do about it. Mm. I try not to read those. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud I of you. I love to see <laughs> black professionals stepping out into fields that we ain't necessarily represented in. Thank you. And, you know, trying to solve issues in our community, man. Yeah. You got to protect our black women, make sure they get their safe. Yes, that's true. And Yeah, and on time, too. Yes, and on time. And I was about to say, time. most women on our platform actually pre-book in advance, so those like... And still be late. Ain't that crazy? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, I know, right? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I know, right? But yes, yeah, it's actually working out really good for us. That's what's up. And just so you know, we ain't talking over, we ain't just talking over here at oh, the yeah. Fast South Show. I'm about to download your app right now. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's real. Yeah. Her ride. And y'all better pick me up. I don't want no discrimination. It will not be any discrimination. I'm definitely gonna have to warn them. Whatever driver it is that claims your hey, trip. Hey, <laughs> tell me now. Mystery shopper. Secret <laughs> customer. <laughs> <laughs> I got you right here. All right. Now we see you downloaded yeah. it. There now. you go. There we go. We in there. Purple and white is the colors. Yeah, purple and white. I got the. I got my own little. Um, everybody on my staff has their own Letterman jacket. Oh, y'all getting big paper. Yeah, I play sports in school, so like I'm just big on like doing everything sports. That's what I was about to pitch you. Now, what if we had an app, right, mm -hmm. where you was hooping, but you ain't had nobody to hoop with. 
you can hit somebody, they'll pull up and hoop with you. I ain't gonna lie, that already exists. But you can make your own. You can make your I'm own. I'm saying like through her ride, though. Oh, through her ride? Her oh, ride. Somebody can pick up and hoop. Uh, somebody, uh, if you want to get dropped off at a gym or something like that. Man, no, you might just need like somebody to pull up and hoop with you. And add that to her ride? Man. What service we gonna add that to? Man, send Jillian over here. She almost went pro. Don't send the rookies. <laughs> Send somebody who can hoop. I like that though. Have you seen that girl on social media be hooping with the dude? Yes, I follow her. She be wearing all the crazy outfits. Love and then it. Now they be like, oh, she ain't nothing in this. She wham all in over. In the career. I want to I wanna play with her, I ain't gonna lie. I do, I want to play at least one. I'm not against her, I want to play with her. All right, bet. Yeah, I don't want to play against her. You almost was pro for real? Harlem Globetrotters uh, recruited me out of college. That's what's up. What you think of this new boom, uh, W? Love it. I absolutely love it. They deserve every dollar they're getting, all the attention they're getting. They deserve it all. Most definitely. Yeah, I love it. I'm a fan now. Been a fan. I'm gonna stay a fan. I'm um, working on becoming season ticket holders next year. I've been year, a fan so. since Lisa Leslie. Oh, what? Yeah. I was only four then. I was. <laughs> Lisa Leslie was first. She was my first. But no, nah, I was, I was, uh, yeah. WNBA crush. Then it scooted on down to old Candace Parker. I got to see Candace play for every something couple like years. That. Every couple years, it's scoot. I find me a new little uh, cutie and play basketball. So who's your fave now? Um, see, I got old now. All the women I like, I don't like them too young. Understood. But like, I think I cut off at like Skylar Diggins. Okay. 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 She's, She's really like the first NIL girl. I ain't gonna lie. It's just something about that lady. <laughs> I like her ears. Her ears? Her ears right. just look like they smell like peaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love a good smelling woman, bro. Yeah. That ain't got nothing to do with that, man. Make sure y'all go support her ride. Hit the app store. Mm -hmm. Go get some rides from these ladies and keep it safe and sorry and on time. Yes. You'd rather be safe than sorry. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And on time. And on time. And we're supporting black business over here on the black market. Anything else you want to hit them with? Um, we just got a loan from the city of Atlanta. Um, That's what I ain't talking to you. <laughs> I didn't even know Atlanta had people like that. Yeah, Invest Atlanta. Uh, we just got a loan from them for their startup growth loan. So we got around 75000 But we need to keep raising money. So, we do. Um, we are trying to raise about $2.5 I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, so, you know, anybody that's watching that knows anybody with any expendable income, tell them to call me. <laughs> Somebody out there got some money. Yeah, we got equity for you. We got equity for you. I might have to get in there earlier, too, because this could be big. Yeah, just to run some numbers by y'all, the airport did two and a half million ride share rides just from the airport alone. The average ride share ride is like $30, so that's about $60 million in revenue. You're so damn smart. I'm so proud. I know everybody at the church is just proud of you. Like, girl, <laughs> go ahead, <on here>, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we trying to we trying to get about 30% of that market, and that's just from the airport alone. So there's definitely money in ride share to people that think there's not. Oh. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first, folks. And I don't know what you've been doing with your life, but the black market is wide open. Yeah.